we are on par now with uh, as far as the diagnosis is concerned in a cancer and uh, most of the major hospitals say those who are providing cancer care do have this pet ct facility and uh, we are on par in certain cases i i can say that we are way ahead of certain uh, centers in usa and uh, we are on par with europe and in japan as far as cancer care is concerned in imaging 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 aspects hcg we all started about uh, this hcg was a small center about so you can say 10 years ago and in 2008 and 9 that was a i think you can say watershed mark for hcg we decided to go ahead with uh, setting up of a cyclo medical cyclotron and a pet ct and uh, recently we acquired one more cyclotron facility in chennai so we are uh, doing a lot of uh, work in the cyclotron we are producing uh, unique tracers which are not available in other centers in the country and uh, we are on par or we can say at least we are exceeding uh, certain you know and in advanced countries we produce lot of uh, innovative tracers most of the centers in the country do maybe one or two pet cities but here we do eight or 10 different varieties of pet scans using a different molecules we say uh, the pet tracers why we are able to do it because we have in house our own medical cyclotron you can say it can be a small scale bio atomic research center we have a good uh, radio chemists and uh, they are able to produce all the unique uh, tracers these tracers will definitely help in diagnosing certain cancers in a different manner only one pet tracer like for, for example radioactive glucose fluorodeoxy glucose is done by most centers in the country and across the world here we do different 8 to 10 types that means only one molecule is not fit all for all the cancers so different cancers have to be imaged in a different manner and that is a usp of hcg we produce varieties of pet tracers and because of that the patients do come here and when we do this were a different type of pet scan uh, pet scans using a different molecules the scenario changes the diagnosis changes the management changes to the tune of you can say almost 47% across all malignancies in certain malignancies when we do these pet scans the treatment will pan will change in almost 100% of the cases uh, just to give an example for example say a brain tumor you want to do Uh, radiotherapy or chemotherapy or surgery in a different in this fashion the moment you add a pet scan using a specialized molecules for the brain tumor the radiotherapy can change almost 100% of the time same thing applies even for lung cancers so this is how a pet ct will help to individualize or customize the therapy for each patient earlier it was a standard therapy protocol this is a cancer you do this fashion but the addition of the pet ct that too with different pet cts it has changed the scenarios and it is showing a better outcome for the patient the results are better we avoid many unnecessary procedures when we do this scans so that way we are going to cut down the cost to the patient so we are saving the <coughs> you can say save the cost to the patient and and it will definitely help in the better management of the cancer in these patients uh, hcg policies and my policy also i discussed with management and said for want of money no patient should go back if it is making a definitive change in the management of these patients money does not come into the picture at all we subsidize heavily in those patients and those who can afford the patient we charge them and why we are able to do this is because we are producing our own isotopes we we don't import so we cut down that import cost and try to pass the and we pass the benefit to the patient and the next is we are producing certain innovative therapeutic molecules for example certain uh, isotopes are used for prostate malignancies neuroendocrine tumors liver cancers etc when we import on an average it will cost them 8 to 10 lakhs per injection but we are able to produce this in house with our uh, technology which we have invested in we bring down the cost one fifth of that so it will save them a lot of money and uh, 
and because we are producing these isotopes, we have to maintain the standards. We have taken NABA standards and we had uh, appointed one SciTech validation agency from UK to see that whatever isotope we produce using in our cyclotron meets the global standards and European standards. So because we are meeting those standards, many clinical trials across the global, uh, many countries, whatever is happening is happening in HCG because just because it is we are maintaining the standards. So we are cutting down the cost because we are producing locally and pass on the benefit to the patients and this is the USP of HCG I can say. The future plans is <coughs> try to bring even more um, uh, tracers and a lot of things are changing the way we are diagnosing the cancers and managing the cancers and treating the cancers. So there are a lot of new things and a new field is emerging what is called a theranostics now. So we are doing diagnostics. So the same thing the isotope is only changed. We change the isotope and use it for therapy it is called a theranostics. Theranostics may be a big buzzword. It may be in another 2-3 years time already changes are happening. What we are trying to see is bench to bedside. Bring it as fast as possible. And we are having a lot of research collaboration with uh, many of my counterparts in Europe, USA. And uh, we try to bring those molecules very early. And we want to see that many of uh, HCG centers, we set up many PET CT centers across our HCG hospitals, wherever in our country. Because uh, the vision of HCG is uh, practicing oncology without PET CT is uh, strict no no. So we want to supply those specialty molecules to our HCG centers and uh, looking at uh, all these things we recently acquired one more cyclotron which was uh, in Chennai and we are catering to almost South India now and um, we are trying to set up even uh, internationally also we are trying to set up a cyclotron and PET CT facility in African countries maybe we are seeing in Middle East countries also. So because we have that technology now we have a manpower we have a trained staff so we are taking the giving the best uh, diagnostic as well as therapeutic care in India and not only that we are even expanding outside India now.